Welcome to General Biology. In this video, we're going to go through an overview of meiosis. We will go over some of the more special events that take place in meiosis a little more in depth in later videos. <clears throat> so if you look at meiosis here, you can see we have two divisions. So we go through cell division once, and then we go through cell division again. So for each cell that we start off with in meiosis, we're going to end up with four gametes. Those gametes are going to have half the normal number of chromosomes that the original cell has, so that when fertilization takes place, we get back to the correct number of chromosomes. And they're going to have a mixture of the paternal and maternal. The chromosomes you got from your mom and your dad are going to get mixed up in the gametes. So we create a huge amount of variety in this process. We'll go into the specifics of how that happens later on. But you can see we have an event here crossing over, and then we pull these things apart, which is a segregation process. Um, how they line up is independent assortment. Uh, you can see that more in depth on the next slide. So we have a few events here going on in the first division uh, of meiosis. All of the cool stuff that happens happens in the first division. The second division is pretty much just like mitosis. So in the first division, you have homologous pairs of chromosomes when they, right after they condense, the homologous pairs will match up and they will wrap around each other and form a tetrad. And these tetrads will wrap around each other fairly tightly, and they will start exchanging portions of the chromosomes with one another. And we call that crossing over. So crossing over is when you exchange portions of the chromosomes. It can happen anywhere between two genes. So there are thousands of uh, spots on this large chromosome where crossing over could take place. On a smaller chromosome, there might only be hundreds of places where crossing over could take place. But there's a huge number of crossing over points in each chromosome. Once those have crossed over, then they will line up in pairs next to each other on the uh, central plate of the cell. Now, how they line up is independent of one another. So we can have red here and blue here, or the flip-flop. We could have had blue here and red here. Same with this one. You could have blue on top, red on bottom, or flip-flopped. So it's just a random process how they line up. And we call that random process of lining up independent assortment because it's going to cause some maternal and some paternal chromosomes, some of the chromosomes you got from your mom are going to go one way, and they're going to be mixed with some of the chromosomes you got from your dad going in the same direction. So the gametes end up with a mixture of those chromosomes. And then when those homologous pairs pull apart, we call that segregation. Segregation means to separate, and that's what's happening right here. And then once you've separated into two cells. Uh, the second phase of meiosis is kind of just like mitosis. So we don't have any crossing over. We don't have any uh, independent assortment. The chromosomes, uh, the centrioles move to the opposite sides, form the spindle fibers. Chromosomes line up in a single file row. The sister chromatids come apart. They get pulled to the opposite ends. And then we have uh, new nucleus forms, and cell division follows that up. And so this is kind of exactly the same as mitosis. The first part of meiosis is very different, but the second part of meiosis is pretty much the same as mitosis. <clears throat> 